are now officially hopefully recorded on the Samsung S24 Plus. I've moved away from the iPad to a phone camera as long as I can transfer the files over to my Mac Mini M1. This should not be a problem. So I hope you'll enjoy the better audio, no, better video quality I should say. The audio quality is coming from a phone for now. I do have a microphone but I need a uh, 3.5 to type C jack to make that work. So maybe in a month or so I'll get that. But for now we are using the Samsung S24 Plus for the videos in 4K 60 frames per second. I'll definitely need myself a bigger tripod to make it while I'm ordered in about a month or so still. But today's video we have gone to CEX to spend my £69 voucher what I had for a while. So here's my 10 games I have bought. I bought PS4, PS5 and PlayStation 3 finally. I've got some PS3 games to add into the collection because I haven't got no collection at the moment for PS3. So let's go and start off with these games right here. So first one I brought was on the PlayStation 4. I bought the Crisis Remastered Trilogy right here. Three games we have got Crisis Remastered, Crisis Remastered 2 and Crisis 3 Remastered. I haven't played these games never ever before. Three killer games, one epic crisis. This is a one player and 47 gigabytes of minimum storage. The artwork on the box is not bad. There's a back right there, hopefully it's in frame. I paid £20 for this for three games. It is a bargain. I can peel off the label as well and clean it up because it does get messy time to time. No point doing it now because I'm filming this video. And it might be a bit boring. But you do get a disc inside right there. And you do get the little card here too. If you want to see unboxing videos on these games I picked up, let me know in the comments down below. Next one is a PlayStation 5. The next one is a PlayStation 3 game. I did pick up the 007 Bloodstone on the PlayStation 3. The case is not a bad condition. There's some artwork on the front. I've paid £5 for this. What's well, not a bad price, really. The box is quite heavy because it does include the very, very thick manual that the PlayStation 5s and 4s don't have these days. And there is a disc right there. So my thoughts on going forward on collecting games, I want to collect PlayStation 5, PS4 and PS3 only. But starting off with the PlayStation 3 era, we have got 007. I want to collect all the James Bond games on the PlayStation 3. Next we have the Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. They only had one in stock. I want to collect all the PlayStation 3 games of Harry Potter. And I want to collect a franchise of Harry Potter as well. So some of the Harry Potter games are on PS2, so I have to go and get PS2 games to collect these uh, games. So James Bond 1, I don't want to collect them all, I just want to collect them all on the PlayStation 5, 3 I mean, sorry. But Harry Potter, I want to collect them all on the uh, PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3. Unless I can buy them all on PlayStation 3, let me know in the comments down below if I can. But this is definitely Hallows Part 1, paid £6 for this. This... Bell's War, there's a back, and once again you do get the manual and the uh, disc right there. Not a bad condition overall. Then we've got another game on the PlayStation 3, keep saying PlayStation 5. This is Rage, now I've got Rage 1 and 2, I have now completed the collection. I paid £1.50 for this, there's the front of the box, there's the back. That is a 8 gigabytes min maximum storage. Well, it's very, very small, to be honest with you. And there's the manual and the disc right there. Now I've got the both of them. £1.50 is pretty, pretty cheap. And then on the PlayStation 5, the only PS5 game I have picked up 
we have got force, bulk, not bulk, bought solace right there. I did pick this up on digital when it first came out, but I decided to pick this up on disc so I add it to my collection. I will be playing the game again. £18 I paid for this one. On Amazon it's around £21, so it's a bit more cheaper, 10 gigabytes, and inside you just get the disc right there. Let me know what you think about this uh, game in the comments down below. I thought it was a pretty good game. And then on to the final one, we have got Bioshock, the collection right here, one, two, and three. Three awesome games, I've played this before, and they were pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty good condition as well. There's the uh, inside in the, of the case, there's a disc, Bioshock one, there's a front, and there's a back, and there's the Bioshock right here. I believe there is one and two. Yeah, there you go. Bioshock one and Bioshock two disc right there. So two games on one disc. And then the third one on the uh, second disc. I paid £18 for this. I know you might be able to get it a bit cheaper. But it's in pretty good condition. Not smashed up. What is, what is good. <laughs> you got what I was going to say there. But overall, I spent £68 in CX today on my voucher. Got 10 awesome, awesome games. And I uh, cannot wait to collect more PlayStation 3 games. Especially the James Bond and the Harry Potter ones. Probably have to go on eBay in November, I think. And uh, buy the Harry Potter games and buy the James Bond ones. But thanks for watching guys, hope you all enjoyed the CX haul. I'm going to keep doing these once in a while. Plenty more games to do and unboxing on. October I've got plenty of games coming out. And if you want me to do unboxing videos on these kind of games I've just done and showed off, let me know in the comments down below. I think I probably will do it, give you some more content every day. But thanks for watching, hopefully the files will transfer over to the Mac. I do have the uh, Android file transfer, well, free version on there, so hopefully I can do it, otherwise I'd have to pay £35 for one-off payment. But don't forget to subscribe to the channel on the road to 1.7k. The main goal is to get to 2k, but we'll do 100 subscribers at a time. Don't forget to like the video as well. Let me know what you think about this video in the, down in the comments down below. And I'll see you all in the next one soon. Take care. Bye-bye.